Hello, students. How are you doing? This is Professor Wilson. I'm hopefully um, this video finds you well and in good health. I wanted to, to mention to you I'm going to be seeing you all this Friday because don't forget we have a test this Friday. And let me bring up the information here. The lecture schedule. All of you should have this, a copy of this schedule. You um, receive the schedule the very first week of school. It's something that I'm hoping, I'm hoping most of you printed out uh, it's important enough that you print it out and, and put it on a fridge or put it on somewhere where you can see these dates because these are important. Here are the test dates right here. Remember, you must be on the campus to take all of your tests unless you have arranged with me. Um, but by now, it would be, it'd probably be a little late to do that. Um, so you want to show up at the Plant City campus um, between 3 and 6. And on the 27th, that's this Friday. What I wanted to do with this with this video, though, was clear up some confusion because a lot of people, a lot of students will ask, where should I be at in the class right now? And I wanted to answer that question. So let's go into our class. Um, and of course, there's two ways to get to where you need to be. One is to view all assignments. This shows you everything, homework, quizzes, everything. OK, and if we back out of that, the other way is to go to start here. Um, the benefit of of the start here is that th these are very easy. It's organized in a way that you can understand. For instance, we have three tests. Each of those tests correspond with a unit. And within each unit are certain assignments. All of the assignments are due by the time you take the test for that unit. So since our first test is the 27th, the final due date for all of these assignments, right? If we go back and look at view all assignments, the final date for all of them, as you see, is the 27th. And that's because that's the day of our first test. So, um, that's the final due date. Now, uh, you don't want to look at this date to determine where you should be in the class. That's what the lecture schedule is for. And so this is the reason why I get a whole lot of um, I get a lot of emails asking, where should I be at in the class? Where should I be at? That's what this lecture schedule is for, to let you know where you should be at on a particular on a given date. Um, and you really want to follow this. I recommend that you always stay ahead of this because this is just the bare minimum for you to get everything done by the test date. So today is the 20 at the time I'm making this video it's the 23rd. You may be watching this on the 24th or 25th, but on the 23rd, you should be completing 4.6 complex fraction. So this is the guide that you use. There's no, there's no penalty for turning in work early. Okay. The reason why there was a time when these dates matched, the due dates would match the due dates here um, so that it, it could make a little bit more sense. But we, we no longer do that. And the reason I no longer do that is because um, if something would happen to a student and I would need to grant an extension, um, it, it would happen often enough to where we just have the final due dates for all of the assignments. So that means if you fall behind, okay, so if something happens, this is an online class, right? So you're on your own pace. If something happens and say you're not able to get these two done when you wanted to get them done, you don't have a penalty assessed right away simply because they don't have to be turned in until the final day of the test. However, you know, the goal, the, 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 the point of the online class is that you are self-managed. So you have to manage that yourself and look at how much time you have. Compare it with the dates that you see here and make sure that you are not falling behind. Because remember, everything in test one is every assignment that leads up to test one. So if you if you are not finished with certain assignments, you will not know that information when it's time to be tested on it. Right. So that's why it's very important that you finish. And that's another reason why we make that deadline, the 27th, because that's the day of the test. So make sure um, you just kind of follow that. Um, as far as preparing for the test, um, honestly, 
I would make sure you get those homeworks. Try to get 100% on those. You can do homeworks multiple times. So you can do them um, until you get 100% on them and keep doing them over and over again. And I definitely would suggest um, that you do that until, you know, most of the grades within the homework are are 100 or at least an A. That will help your grade and will also help your understanding of the material. All right. So it looks like we're going to be seeing everybody soon. Um, so I will see you on Friday. I will I will send another email soon letting you know, confirming the room number. OK, so I'll have to give you some more details about that. But this video was just to kind of clear up the confusion about where you need to be at and how to use a lecture schedule. Again, if you have not received one yet or somehow got lost in the email or or went to spam or whatever, just let me know. I will send out another one as soon as I can. All right. There's no problem. All right. Thanks again. And we'll see everyone this Friday.